Boom. Uh, our next speaker, Stanislav Shapashnikov, uh, on the Kolmogorov equations with coefficients of low regularity, please. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry for my English. And uh, I'd like to, to say thank you very much for the opportunity to visit this conference, uh, to visit St. Petersburg and to meet uh, old friends and I'm very glad that this conference is almost offline. It's a very, very big thing in our time. Thank you very much. And um, my, I, I, I think my report will not be very difficult. I give several examples, several statements and several questions. And uh, the title of my talk, uh, my talk is about regularity theory. It is not very expressive title, very expressive branch uh, of the PDE, but I think it is very interesting when we uh, consider the very interesting equations. Um, We consider the so-called Kolmogorov equation or double divergence form equation. The main motivation comes from the diffusion processes where the stationary distribution satisfies this equation, firstly. The second thing why we like to study this equation is uh, uh, the green function satisfies this equation. And uh, the third thing, this equation is a, a real adjoint equation for the uh, non-divergence elliptic operator. Certainly, if we consider the case when coefficients A and B are smooth and solution rho is smooth, then we can calculate the derivatives and obtain ordinary elliptic equations with uh, uh, terms of our order, but uh, it is not right intuition that this equation is ordinary elliptic equation. There are several uh, things uh, that uh, this equation is very different from the uh, classical non-divergence elliptic equations or divergence from elliptic equations. So we assume that matrix A is symmetric and positive definite, and we always assume that A and B are Borel functions. We use the notation L phi is a, a forward operator, L star phi, this is our operator. And uh, certainly we can write our equation in short form, L star rho equals zero. Our definition of the solution, we say that the function rho, function from the L1 log, is a solution to the equation one. If A rho and B rho is integ locally integrable with uh, respect to the bigger measure, and uh, for every function phi, smooth function with a complex support, uh, the following integral equality holds. So this is a typical uh, definition. Uh, in some sense, we understand this equation in uh, the sense of distributions. I like to present very toy and very simple example, but very important for us. Let us consider the one dimensional case let b equals zero and uh, let coefficient a is uh, positive, strictly positive. Um, say nice function, let a is a continuous function. Then we obtain trivial second order equation. The second derivative of a rho equals zero. We can solve it immediately. And uh, what we see? We see the function rho equals 
uh, the ratio of the affine function and the coefficient a. Now let us assume that a is continuous function, but everywhere is non definite table. Then rho will be continuous, but rho is not from the Sobolev class. And uh, moreover, if A is Helder continuous, Rho is Helder continuous, but not in, from, in general, from the Sobolev class. Uh, in general, there is no derivatives of this solution. This is one dimensional, very trivial example, but this is very, very important for our motivation. The net example is not trivial. This is a very nice and very interesting result uh, that was obtained by Patricia Bauman uh, 38 years ago uh, in a short paper. She constructed uh, the, uh, the example where matrix A is non degenerate and continuous. We consider the equation with zero coefficient B, and this equation has locally unbounded solution row, non negative locally unbounded solution row. Uh, this is a very uh, non trivial example because uh, the construction is non trivial, but this example based on the another non trivial example. And uh, it is very interesting to construct analogous examples, say, in the case where when A is not continuous, but let A will be non degenerate and measurable. It, it seems quite uh, easier, but, but it is difficult. So, we see, yes. Locally unbounded, but uh, is it, uh, uh, but it doesn't uh, prevent uh, to have uh, uh, locally sound uh, derivatives. Yes, 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 yes. This but is different equations. It's different phenomena. What about it? We uh, we have non-degenerate continuous matrix A, but we obtain no uh, unbounded solution. Yeah, unbounded, but what was it uh, uh, in in W one one lock or not? Uh, in, in in general, not because you always can uh, if it has derivative, you can divide it by something, can multiply by something without it. Okay. And uh, this, this is a trivial as it it was. So. Uh, Assume this very nice situation. A is bounded and non-degenerate, and assume that A is continuous, and omega is a modulus of continuity. This is quite classical situation for the, for the matrix uh, in elliptic equations. So, the first result, if B is integrable in degree P larger than D, then rho is integrable in every degree R. I recall that rho could be unbounded function, but uh, if B is sufficiently good, rho is integrable in every power R. So the very natural questions, very natural questions. Uh, we know, and I formulated below, that uh, if A not only continues, but additionally, uh, Helder uh, or Dini continues, then Rho immediately continues and immediately bounded. So it is very interesting to describe the dependence integrability and the modulus of continuity. And um, this is some result about this. Uh, assume that we consider uh, this function, uh, uh, modulus of continuity omega with this uh, condition. 
and uh, consider this uh, function lambda t. Uh, one can uh, verify this if uh, omega satisfy Dini condition, this function lambda will be bounded. So, this theorem gives the control of LP norm of solution rho. And uh, if we, we, we can use this estimate and derive some colors. Say, if omega t uh, multiplied by log t is uh, uh, vanishing, then uh, we have the exponential integrability with any exponent. This is very close to Dini condition, but not Dini. If we only know that this uh, product omega and log is bounded, then we have exponential integrability with some exponents. And uh, if we have uh, the boundness of this function, we have some better integrability than only information that any power of rho is integrable. I think this is only the first step, but the question is very interesting and very natural. So let now A satisfy the Dini condition. This is the case when the modulus of continuity satisfies this classical Dini integrability condition. Say uh, we have this if uh, uh, for beta larger than one, the product omega and log in better degree is bounded. Then we immediately obtain the continuity of solution. Under natural additional assumption that B is integrable in degree P larger than D. Moreover, we have the following uh, for, for my thing, very, very nice uh, result that if A is holder of order delta, the solution will be heard with the same delta. It is this exactly that we uh, uh, see in one dimensional case, where rho is the same as uh, A. This result for uh, bounded B, uh, firstly, uh, was obtained in uh, papers by Jorgen. Uh, then it was generalized for integrable, integrable B in our paper. And then it was uh, generalized by Don, Kim, and Escarica for uh, uh, matrix A satisfies the so-called mean Dini condition. But now uh, this theorem has a very short proof based on the so-called Zwonkin transformation, I will say below. So if we know that the solution is continuous, very classical question about the positivity, about the Harnack's inequality. For double divisions from equation, the, uh, firstly, uh, under Dini condition, the Harnack inequality was proved by Mamedov in case where b equals zero. Then it was generalized for bounded b. And it is interesting that uh, we know that Saharanak inequality is a very difficult statement for non-divisions and divisions equations. But for double divisions equations, if you assume that b is bounded, it is very close to the classical Saharanak inequality for harmonic function. The proof is very close. You derive the, uh, from the equation, you derive the uh, inequalities close to the classical mean value theorem immediately without any additional uh, tricks and obtain Harnack inequality. But the technology very used the boundness of B. The another approach uh, was um, given in paper by Don Kaskaritz and Kim but they use special renormalized estimates uh, from uh, a paper by Skaritza where B was uh, zero. And natural question, 
is it true, is it a Harnack inequality true for unbounded B? And the answer yes, uh, we have the following uh, statement, if B is uh, integrable on P larger than D, then Harnack inequality is uh, uh, fulfilled. And it is interesting that the proof very, very short, and I will demonstrate it below. And uh, final statement about the regularity. It is very uh, strange and very interesting properties of solutions. I, uh, at the beginning of my talk, I demonstrated that solution uh, in general is not differentiable even in Sobolev things. But let us consider one dimensional case and consider the ratio of two solutions. Here, there is no coefficient A and this uh, expression is very nice, very smooth. So it is interesting that this is the case in multi-dimensional situation. Uh, let us consider two non-negative, uh, non-trivial solution. According to Karnak inequality, this solution will be positive and consider the ratio of these two solutions. Then this ratio belongs to the classical Sobolev, log Sobolev class, W21, locally on the domain omega. Moreover, for this uh, function V, we have uh, uh, several many nice inequalities with a convex function f. When coefficients and solution has Sobolev derivatives, then this inequality one can obtain from this equation immediately. But in this equation, you see the uh, Sobolev derivative you need. And uh, the result obtained in the following way. You obtain, the est uh, you obtain this estimate for the smooth case, and you know a nice theory for the Dirichlet problem for double division form equation, and use last estimates uh, from uh, regularity theory. So, at the end of my talk, I'd like to say something about uh, transformations of the Kolmogorov equations. Um, in general, this will, uh, should be the first step when we say about the equations. How can we simplify the equation? This is the first question. And how can we find very nice uh, coordinates in order to solve or consider our equation? The okay, first transformation left. Two minutes left. Okay. The, the first uh, concern with the increasing the dimension. This is a Khrushchev trick. The other one, uh, the trick how we can remove the potential term. You can consider uh, some uh, additional multiplicator. And the end, so called Zwonkin transformation very well-known transformation in the diffusion processes. This transformation uh, gives the possibility to replace bad drift by the very nice differentiable function. If you can solve the almost forward equation for, uh, uh, for our operator. So if uh, uh, the, the result that I present uh, based on the following, we apply these transformations and obtain, obtain uh, the equation with zero lower order term and apply known results for this equation. So uh, the talk is based on the uh, joint paper with Vladimir Bogachev, Mikhail Rochner, uh, and uh, other results can be found in the following references. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, the speaker.
please, questions and remarks. Uh, yes, I think that uh, you can, uh, uh, we can uh, P greater than V to the Dinic, uh, integral Dini condition. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. It, it, uh, we, we try to, to do something with A. Uh, and add B non bounded. This is was main. Uh, well, uh, but if you wish. Yes. Thank you. Uh, am I right? You uh, base your examples on counter uh, like uh, function A uh, or uh, um, another type? Fractional. Um, I don't know. It, it, uh, no. In in uh, in Bauman uh, example, it was uh, effect does not con um, connected with um, it is not connected with uh, fractional mm -hmm. uh, like counter uh, properties. No. Thank you. Uh, more questions, please. Maybe remarks. No. Uh, so, thanks, speaker, again.